Okay, guys, I'm going to do a little demonstration for you so that you can see um, the difference between acrylic and watercolor paints. But I will tell you that um, I'm having to do this with, like, I have my phone set up on this little trash can. And I'm right-handed and the trash can is in my way, but if I don't put it like that, I can't figure out how to not make my video um, right side up. So I just want you to know in advance. Okay, so let me show you what I have over here. Um, you don't have these supplies. I'm just going to show you kind of how acrylic paint is different and then we're going to do some watercolor stuff. So first of all, I have two paintbrushes and you could use either of these paintbrushes for either of your um, artworks. Um, one of the things about oil painting that I didn't mention in the video is that the cleaners of oil painting like can melt cl plastic, so you have to use um, like brushes made out of animal fur, otherwise your brush will actually melt. Um, this one is synthetic, so this one's made of plastic, this one is made of camel hair, so we could use this one in oil painting, but we wouldn't be able to use this one. Um, but I just wanted to show you the difference in these brushes because the brush that you select when you're painting is really important. So this one is perfect for watercolor, which is why I gave it to you guys. Um, it's a really soft brush. It doesn't give much resistance. And when we watercolor, we're barely going to touch the page with the brush. Like we are not, for the most part, going to be like brushing it all the way on the page. We are a couple of times, but for the most part, we're going to be using it, the tip of it. Now, um, this other paintbrush is a lot um, more, um, it gives a lot more resistance when you push on the brush itself. The bristles are more stiff and that's actually good for acrylic paint because it's going to be a lot thicker than watercolor. I have some acrylic paints here and I just want to show them to you really quick. These, uh, this one I got at Hobby Lobby. Um, that's our real only art store for paint in the city. We need to get another one but I can't make that happen by myself so like whatever. Um, notice how it's cadmium yellow. It's a deep one. So this has a really high um, saturation of color for um, yellow. Um, this one is 50 cents at Walmart when I bought it. I don't remember if it's still 50 cents. It might have gone up a little bit. But this bottle is like, um, this is an acrylic paint that I really love. Um, you can just get these at Walmart and they work super well. So if you want some cheap paints, get yourself some primary colors of this Apple Barrel brand or whatever brand they're carrying now at Walmart. Should be about 50 cents per bottle. And then you can get going with your acrylic painting. So... The other thing I have here is I have a napkin because I'm going to be wiping my brush on it and I also have some water so that I can rinse my brush, but I'm not even going to do that very much. Okay, this is a palette and this is not usually like, like you can use a flat palette for acrylic paint because it's, it's usually so thick that it doesn't run all over, but I'm going to, let me see if this is, I, okay it is. Okay, so I'm going to put some yellow in here and I'm sorry, like this trash can is really in my way. Okay, so there it is on the side, all messy. Okay, I got some yellow. Um, and I'm going to put a mark on my paper with a pencil. Let me get a pencil, sorry. And we, we say that acrylic paints are much more opaque than watercolor. What opaque means is that you can't see through it. So I'm going to draw like a little line on here. And, and this is watercolor paper, but I'm just doing a demo on it. Okay, so I'm going to go up in the corner and I'm just going to draw like a little heart. Okay, there we go, a little heart. And when I paint over this little heart, um, it might not do it in one layer, depending on how thick this paint is. I actually haven't tried this brand before. Um, but it will cover it in probably two layers, and you will not be able to see the heart anymore. So see how thick this paint is? Like, you can, you can brush it, and you can, like, see how it's sticking up in those areas. It's like whipped cream, kind of. So it's a lot thicker than the watercolor paint we're going to use is. Um, I also brought a blue because I just want to show you how acrylic paints mix really quick. So, of course, if we mix yellow and uh, blue, these two primary colors, then we're going to get a nice green. Um, with dark colors and light colors of different thickness, like when the paint has different amounts of pigment, I always start putting more of the lighter color because if you don't, sometimes you get um, it, it's like way too dark. Okay, so here we can see the paint is turning green. This is kind of like a, a foresty plant green. This isn't like a neon green. You can make most colors from the primary colors, but you do have to have some other additives. 
All right, so I just made this with green paint and I'm gonna actually paint over that heart again. Um, and you can't see it anymore, it's gone now. So that's the kind of cool things to know about acrylic paint. You can, of course, um, get some for yourself, but I am gonna try to, to send us some so we can work on some acrylic stuff at home. After you put acrylic on your paintbrush, you need to go rinse it before it dries because otherwise it will get stuck on there. And you also need to clean your palette. So I'm going to go do that and then I'm going to talk to you guys about watercolor.